What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling a cool skyscraper in Revit. So this will be a simple skyscraper and the idea behind this video is to show you some of the basic steps behind modeling a skyscraper using an in-place mass in Revit and how to add all of the floors and how to add some glass on the facade and just how to make it look cool. But anyway, before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay so let's get started here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project and before we do anything let's just set the units to meters to make everything a bit easier on us because it will be a tall building and now let's start uh, modeling. So the first thing you need to do is you need to add all of the levels as this is a skyscraper it has a bunch of levels so I suggest going to something like south elevation and then you can go here to level and LL is the shortcut and you choose this pick lines tool and for the offset let's give it an offset of 4 meters and then let's just start clicking like this so you kinda start placing these uh, levels at, at certain intervals and let's say we want it to be a hundred meter tall skyscraper so we've got 30 meters over here so we can just select all of these go copy and then make sure you select multiple and let's just copy it a couple of times and let's zoom in over here okay we have 96 at 25 at level 25 and let's say that's enough we have a 96 meter uh, tall uh, skyscraper Okay, so once we have something like this, now it's time to go uh, to an in-place mass and to start modeling. And as you can see over here, we only have the, the bottom nine, so the bottom nine are only showing, but that's, that's okay. As you can see, the ones with this blue uh, are showing, and the ones that we created by just copying, we can't, we can't really see them, and we can't open up that floor plan, unlike this one where we can but that's not really that important because we're not going to be actually opening up each individual level but that's just something to know if you're copying levels you won't actually be able to open it up that easily but anyway let's now start modeling our skyscraper and for that we need to be using an in-place mass so go here to massing and sight make sure you check show mass and now go in place mass let's just call it mass one doesn't really matter and let's go to level one okay so this is the starting point so uh, let's just create a rectangle like this and if you can't see it let's see why we can't see it okay it's at level one drawn work plane rectangle yeah that works should work okay we're in ceiling plan that's the problem okay so if you ever make an accident and go into ceiling plan just go back into level one and here you can see your rectangle and let's just see okay let's make it 20 by 20 this is way too much okay so let's say it's a 20 by 20 base uh, rectangle and just to make it more interesting let's kinda chamfer the edges a bit like this and let's just now go DM for draw mirror, mirror it to the other side, mirror this, just DM, draw mirror, mirror it to the other side. And now to make it a bit more interesting, let's add some arcs. So let's do, I don't know, arc like this, another arc like this, another, and now just go about mirroring this. So just go DM to mirror it to this side over here. And then you can mirror this one around here, kind of like that. And now you can select, oops, all of these and this one as well. And again, DM for draw mirror, mirror to the other side. And we only need to mirror this one to the other side. So just DM and there you go. Okay, so once we have this uh, template done and now I can just select these chamfer edges and I don't really need them. And the outside one, I don't need that one as well. Again, select these. They're pretty unnecessary. Okay, so once we have this, this is just the base. And if we go into 3D, as you can see here, we have our levels showing. That's because this is Revit 2019. And if you have an earlier version, you won't be able to see these. And if you want to download the latest version, make sure to check out the link in the description and you can download it. I have already done a tutorial on that. 
Okay, but anyway, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, go here to uh, copy the clipboard, and then go to paste, and align to selected levels. And now I'm just going to change, select a mid-level, something like if we have 18 levels, that's level number 9, I guess. And also level 18. Oh, we have more of them. Okay, we have 25. So I'm going to go with 25, and let's go with, I don't know, something like 13. So select two levels, one that's kind of in the middle and one that is on top. So first for the one that's in the middle, let's rotate it by 45 degrees. So select it, uh, no, not copy, angle, 45. Okay, so now it's rotated at 45 degrees. And now let's place a line. So let's go to level that's level 13. Yeah, well, that's a lucky level. <laughs> anyway, so let's select this go scale and let's start from here okay it's going from 11 to I don't know let's do something like like 7 let's make it drastic and for the top one uh, we're not going to be rotating it and let me just delete this one over here okay so let's just set the work plane to the top level and now let's uh, let's scale this down a bit and we first need to place a line over here and then uh, select the whole thing and go here to scale or just type in RE and that's the scale command and we're going to be scaling this but not nearly as much so this is going from 9 to something like 7.8 okay just make it a bit smaller okay and now what we're going to do we're just going to connect these three so just select them connect them and you get this cool looking uh, skyscraper shape. Okay, so once you have done this, now it's time to just hit finish mass and load it into the project. And first let's add some cosmetic changes to this. Now this looks nice as is, and if we add some glass to it, it would look nice. But I would like to emphasize these edges over here. We have these cool eight edges that kind of uh, go with the, the flow of the building, and I would like to emphasize them. And to do that, we can't do it as an in-place mask because we need to turn it off for rendering. So we need to do it differently. So I like to use an in-place family or a component and just go here model in place. And now I'm just going to search for a generic model, something like this, a generic model. Let's just call it generic model one. And this will be uh, created as a series of sweeps. So you just select sweep, you go pick path, and then you come over here, you select one of these lines, and then you hit OK, you go into Edit Profile, you go with the circle and let's use a radius of, I don't know, something like 0.4 or maybe use 0.6. And you just click over here and just hit Finish, Finish, so you get something that looks like this. OK, it looks real nice. So let's just repeat that process for the rest of these. And once we have these modeled, I can select all of them and go here to material by category. And let's choose something like aluminum just to make it look cool. And now let's just hit finish. And we have now this facade element. Okay, so now it's time to add some floors and to give some material to the actual exterior of the building or to add some glass. And uh, let's do the, the, the floors first. So to do that, let's go to and just select this mass and then just select this mass floors and now you select the first one you scroll down you hold the shift key you select the last one and then you just check so you checked all of the floors and you just hit OK and now you wait for a second and as you can see now we've got all of these floors but as you can see they're kind of paper thin they are just they're just a surface they're not they don't have any thickness they're not really floors so to turn them into actual floors you need to go here to the massing and site tab and find the floor and now we can select it and let's use this floor generic 150 and let's just change the structure to something i i've seen a cool looking stone 
uh, oops, not stone, stone material, and yeah, I, I, I really like this color for this building, so I'm just going to hit OK, apply, OK, OK, and now let's select all of the floors, so you just select all of them like this, and you go create floor, and you wait for a second, and there you go, as you can see now we've got these all have their thickness, so that's nice, and now let's add a curtain wall all over everything, so just go here to curtain system, and then you select uh, multiple, and you actually have to select each of these uh, faces. So because they're kind of, uh, Revit views them as separate, so we need to select each of them, and make sure you don't select the top one. Okay, so once you have this, you go create system, and you wait for a second for it to calculate all of the panels, and this is what you get. So we've got these panels, and it looks really nice, and now we can create a rendering perhaps, so let's go to, I don't know, something like level 4, and create a camera view, so let's do a camera, kind of like this, and let's angle it up a bit, and now we can extend this view, maybe make it like this, Okay, this looks nice, so now we can create a rendering, so just hit double R for render, and let's use something like this, okay, maybe we can make it a bit nicer, and let's go with medium, and let's try rendering it to see what we get. And as you can see here, we have a problem, the whole building is kind of grayish, so I'm just going to pause the rendering, and yeah, and if this happens, uh, the problem is the, the actual mass is still visible. So if I go here to realistic, as you can see, you can still see the mass. So you just uncheck this show mass from floors, you toggle it off, and now as you can see, now the whole building doesn't have that gray overlay, it's actually transparent, and now you can render it again. So just hit double R, render, and let's try again. And as you can see, now it looks a lot better. And let's wait just a few seconds for the render to finish. And this tower looks a lot better right now, as you can see these aluminum edges are a nice finish, maybe they can be a bit smaller, but anyway, that's something to fine tune later on. Anyway, this is how you get to the basic shape of a skyscraper, now you, have, you, you would have to add some a concrete core or something like that, but this is a starting point, how, to, how do you get the conceptual part of your uh, tower or a skyscraper uh, project in Revit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video, and if you have any questions, comment comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day!